Hey guys, so we're currently just under five weeks out, or just over four weeks out from Arnold Classic Australia, which means we're just under two weeks out of the Melbourne Championships. Things are getting crazy now, we're getting real close. So today we're going to go through the art of posing and the importance of posing when, it comes, when you're on stage and the presence of your bodybuilding posing. Um, we're going to go through things like how we get the judge's attention, things like what the judge is looking for through each pose. We're going to go through transitions of each pose and just you know a few tips and tricks about making it look the best we possibly can on stage. For that, I'm going to hit some shoulders, do a bit of a shoulder workout today, and we'll do some posing after that. Okay, so one of the compulsory poses I'm going to show you guys first is the front delt bicep. Now with, with IFB with this brand new standard and average level of, of bodybuilding, uh, when we do the front delt bicep, we want to make sure that at, when we're doing the bicep, we're making sure that both of my biceps are symmetrical, that my, both of my elbows are at the same place, we're making sure I can divide my body in half like this, and both sides of my body from the left side to the right side are symmetrical. Now also with the posing, there are, there are, few, uh, there are a few other tricks that we need to do in the movement. Um, it, with the IFB, the compulsory posing, the way we have to construct the movement is we have to make sure one of your legs is spiked out slightly to the side like this. You can't have both legs there like last year. You've got to make sure one of your legs is slightly spiked to the side. Now, when I hit my pose, um, the front delt bicep is one of my better poses. So I use that as more of a dramatic pose. Um, you guys need to work, in, work around your own bodies and find what pose is best suits for you. Front delt bicep for me is one of my better poses, so I'm very dramatic with how I hit the posing. So what I do, um, when I go up, I, I kind of, a nice slow motion the way up, I firm my lats on the way out so I can show the judges my, my, my wide lat spread. And then when I get to the top, I make sure my lats are fully spread, then I hit my pose. At the same time, as I'm hitting this pose, what, I make, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make, make sure I'm pulling through my midsection, make my waist nice and tight, and I'm keeping my quads nice and tense and flaring my quads out. That's gonna create that nice X shape that we're looking for in our RPB. One of the second poses I'm going to show you guys is my side tricep. Uh, the side tricep is another one of my favourite poses that I really like. Um, unlike last year, again, the, the pose is a little bit different this year, the side tricep. What we need to do is we need to make sure one leg is planted in front and one leg is planted behind. Now, when I'm doing my pose, when it comes back to symmetry, again, I'm trying to make sure my quad and my hamstring um, are even. If I can divide a line like this, I want to make sure that the, the amount of muscle on both sides of my quad and hamstrings is quite proportionate. At the same time, I'm going to make sure your glutes are always squeezed. A lot of the time when people do this pose, they let their glutes go. So in this pose, the whole idea is to show your body from the side with your tricep and your chest. So what I do is I grab my hand, grab my fingers like this, I squeeze my tricep around, round my shoulder blade backwards, and at the same time, I make sure I'm tight all the way through the midsection, I make sure my glutes on, and my hamstrings are nice and tense as well, so my whole body is nice and locked. Same thing I'm trying to go for when I hit that pose, I'm turning a little bit like this as well. So I'm trying to get that nice taper like this and taper down like that. Um, another one of my favorite poses is the Riddell bicep. I explained to you guys about that first before I turn around and do it. Now with the Riddell bicep, you have to have one foot planted at the back. And when you plant that foot, you always want to make sure you squeeze, that, you squeeze your glutes nice and hard. A lot of the time when people hit their bicep pose, their Riddell bicep pose, they let go of their glutes. Um, also want to make sure that on the way up, um, this is another, another pose that's really good, so I keep that nice and dramatic. Um, on the way up, you're filling your lats out nice and wide, which is going to make your waist look smaller. And the way your legs are situated is nice and open, so that your quad sweep hangs out the side, so it makes your waist appear smaller than what it really is. So, so I'm going to turn around and show you guys. Make sure my glutes on like this. Make sure my toes turn out this way so I can create the quad sweep on this side. And on this side, and when I hit that pose, I'm being super dramatic in the movement because to me this is a good pose. So I'll, I'll squeeze my back together, I'll bring my lats out, I'll let the judges see my back, and then you lean backwards. Um, also, remembering posing, transitioning between poses is really important as well. So, I mean, you, with your policy poses, we go from a front to a bicep, to a front lat spread, to a side chest, to a side bicep. You've got to make sure movements in between each pose is really, really important as well. 
You don't just want to look like a robot and bouncing out of each movement. Um, another big thing with posing, always make sure your midsection is nice and tight. A lot of the guys in posing, um, in between, especially in between transitions, um, when they're moving from the front to the side, from the side to the rear, whatever, the midsection comes out a little bit. I mean, I can't really talk, it's happened to me a few times, it happens to everyone. Just want to make sure you keep midsection nice and tight. Uh, last pose, one, one last pose I'm going to show you guys is the um, abs and thighs. I like, this, I, like, I like this pose as well because the, my quads are quite dominant in my body. Um, so when I hit the pose, you always set your bottom half up first before you set your top half up. Get into a nice comfortable position. Um, I, I, I spike one quad out like this as well, so I can create that nice shape like this with my quads flaring out. You can see the flare on both sides of my quads when I hit that pose. You can see the quad flare like this, and you can see this side of the quad flaring out like that as well. That's important. Uh, when I'm hitting that, that front, that, that, that pose, I stretch up, show my lats again, hands in the back of my head, make sure my quads are turned on, and as I'm crunching down, I crunch over. You gotta make sure you breathe. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of guys don't breathe the air out of their midsection. You really push hard, legs on. You wanna make sure you breathe all that air out of your midsection so you get that nice, crisp ab look. Uh, at the same time, these lower obliques, you wanna try and suck them up. A lot of guys hit that pose and their obliques hang out the side. So in your off-season with your training, really try and work by activating your obliques, but not training them, overtraining them so they actually physically grow. You just want to activate them. So when you hit those poses, they can suck up nice and tight, and they're not, and they can create that nice shape that we're looking for. Um, thank you guys for watching. That's the art of posing. Um, it's like I said, it's really important to show the judges what what, what, what works best for you guys. Um, when I'm doing my posing, the poses which I'm not so good at, I'm kind of getting them done nice and quickly. And the poses that I'm better at, the poses that I'm better at, I'm trying to kind of extend them on a little bit longer and really draw attention to me throughout that pose by doing the dramatic movements in between each pose. As promised in last week, I have Kelly and Julie here today for you guys. Um, Kelly is Kelly does figure and Julie does bikini. Both those guys have placed very, very high in their shows. They've actually both won a show each. I'm going to show you guys the difference between Kelly, a figure poser, and Julia, who does bikini. Um, they're going to go through their T-walk and they're going to go through some of their quarter turns. We've got Julia, we've got Julia from TFM, she's going to walk out and she's going to show you guys her T-walk. Let's go, Jules. The best part of Julia's T-walk is she's just showing the judges for the best parts of her body. It only takes like a 10, 10 or so seconds to go through a T-walk. Obviously, Julia's best pose. So, as the second part of Julia's um, routine or Julia's posing routine, she needs to do the quote, quote, what they call quarter turns. Now, as Julia's in bikini, what the judge is looking for is looking for a nice, tight, tapered waist. Um, we don't want to we don't want to see too much muscular with bikini either. Not too much separation through her legs. Just a nice shaped body. Some nice shaped glutes and maybe a little bit of shape through her shoulders, but not too much. We don't want to see too much separation. We're going to go through some of Julia's quarter turns. Okay, Jules. So Jules walks out. Um, she hits her front pose. What we're looking for in the front pose is looking for a nice tight waist. Not too much definition through her shoulder. So she takes take that shoulder, Jules. So we don't want to see too much line through her shoulder. Um, we want to make sure we can see a little bit of her glutes. There's not too much separation through her legs either. Quarter turn to the right. With this pose, the same thing. Uh, we want to make sure we're looking for like a nice tight waist, um, nice shape through the glutes, looking for portion through hamstrings and quads, but no, not too much separation. Um, and same thing again, nice and soft through our arms and shoulders. But at the beginning, we don't want to see too much definition. Quarter turn to the right. We one of Julie's best poses is a glute pose. Um, so she really puts a lot of emphasis, emphasis on this pose, as we always do with our best poses. Um, same thing with this pose, uh, obviously proportion and symmetry is a really important thing with this balance. Um, we want to make sure again there's not too much definition through her back. Uh, Julia's back is a little bit, probably a little bit too defined and lean for bikini, but we're working on bringing that down a little bit. We want to make sure her waist is nice and tight and she's got some, her glutes are popping out. Um, we don't want to make sure her quads are flaring too much either, so we've got a few things to work on, but she's doing pretty good. And last one, quad turn to your right. The same as the other quarter turn, but we're just basically showing the other side. The same thing again, you want to make sure the waist is nice and tight. Take that shoulder, Jules. 
we don't want to see, want to see too much definition through her shoulders. Um, and same with, with her legs. That's it for bikini. Thanks, Jules. All right, so what Kelly's in TFM. Let's go, Kel. Uh, we're going to do Kelly's T-walk, but Kelly does figure. Pretty much exactly the same as bikini, but um, with the T-walk, some things they walk at, and they're just showing the good parts of their poses. With Kelly, she's trying to show more, um, sort of cutting the body in half. We want to see a little bit more shoulder capping out. We want to see a little bit more separation for our legs, but not too much. Um, they want to see a little bit, uh, we want to make sure her waist is nice and tight as well. So she's just going through her best poses, just showing the judges um, the best parts of her body. You can see, like, with, with Viga, her back's a little bit more defined, her shoulders cap out a little bit more. Her quads are a little bit bigger, her hamstrings are a little bit bigger as well, then became a little bit more separated. And last quarter turn. There you go, that's it. Thanks, Kel. Thank you guys for watching. If any of you guys out there have any, have any issues with posing and want to learn, some, learn more about the art of posing, be sure to hit me up. Um, TFM's got a massive lead of competitors from bikini to figure to male body build and absolutely everything. So hit me up on Facebook and I'll point you guys in the right direction. Also, don't forget you guys can download my on-season and my off-season diet in the link below for free. That's a really good diet, so check that out. Next week, we're going to be talking about the peak week protocol leading into Melbourne Championships. It's going to be really awesome. I'm going to be talking to you guys about the sodium depleting, the water depleting, the water loading, and all the, the, all the stages that we go through in that, in that week leading up to the Melbourne Championships. Here we are. We are four weeks out of the Arnold Classic Australia, and we are just two weeks out of the Melbourne Championships. We'll see you guys next week.